Dave here at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Massachusetts, and today we're looking at the 2023 2109S Rockwood Mini Light. I was surprised looking back at past videos. I haven't done a video on this model since 2021, and this is one of the top selling Rockwoods that we stock. And the Mini Lights are extremely popular, and of the Mini Lights, this is right near the top. Excellent, lightweight couples camper. This is the lightest Mini Light just under 4,500 pounds unloaded vehicle weight, give or take a little bit there. This is 22 feet, four inches from the tip of the tongue there to the bumper. I'm gonna check out the outside and then go inside. All right, let's check it out. Front windshield, you're gonna see that on all the Rockwood mini lights. Docking light right there. So at night you can access the, the bottles or anything outside. Uh, nice and bright when it's dark out. Got a spot to hang the chains. There's room for two batteries on there. Two 30 pound bottles, propane, LP, gas. Now, this is something I'm really liking that I'm seeing on the newer Rockwoods. They're starting to come with the inline filters. This is far superior, in my opinion, to the cassette or the the container filters that you have to remove them with a screwdriver like a, a special tool to unscrew them they were honestly a nightmare uh, a lot of times you customers would have to rip them out of the walls and it was just a pain to deal with so i'm really glad rockwood is switching to this inline filter on a lot of their new models take a look at the tag here 4442 just under 4500 pounds and as mentioned 22 feet 4 inches gross on here you're looking at just under 6,000 pounds 5837 I really love this model because it is just very practical um, there's a lot of room inside a lot of living space for the size of the unit great for for a couple great for two people maybe a third person the third like a child the third person um, just super practical easy to get to things like I'll show you in a second the sewer connection the sewer outlet in the back all the water connections. Slide topper, we always order our stock Rockwoods with slide toppers from the factory. We got a little bit of storage here. This is behind the sofa. And you can see the bottom of the sofa, it's just actually resting on the bottom of the slide. So uh, there isn't any storage under the sofa because there just literally isn't anything under the sofa. This is what's under the sofa, uh, the bottom of the slide underneath. So um, the only storage option here is actually behind one thing I love and I've always loved is this magnet latch. All of these outside compartments are have a strong magnet that holds the compartment up. It's a little thing, but boy, it's super convenient. Goodyear tires, Rockwood sticking with the Goodyear tires. Every reason to believe when they switch to 2024s in July, they're going to stick with the Goodyears. Been great for the brand. As mentioned, easy access to the sewer outlet. You got black on the right, gray on the left. You can tell by the size of the of the tube, but also by the color of the of the handle for the valves. 30 amp service right there. And your water hookups, city water, bottom left, tank flush top, middle, and then an antifree antifreeze inlet. The cable hookup, cable or satellite, satellite cable right here. Just wanted to show you a quick uh, the roof here. Standard 200 watt solar panel comes on the mini lights, but you also can get a second solar panel for an additional $450. Uh, this one came with the second solar panel. And the solar panel, that's just gonna charge your battery. Nothing's actually running directly off the solar panel. It's just keeping your battery charged. Right there is the antenna for the TV and um, also radio antenna for the radio. That's part of the TV. All Rockwood minis come with the Max Air fan in the bathroom with a cover so you can run it even if it's raining out. And you see how Rockwood just like, they really go heavy on the, on the caulking on these, which is awesome. It is so, so rare for us as a dealer to deal with any kind of real water issues on these Rockwoods. Um, they do an excellent job building these things and, and they seal them up right. Now on the mini lights, you can get them either with power stabilizers or manual. This one we got with the manual. We actually have another 2109 
in stock right now with the power stabilizers. And that one came with the white exterior, which is still the option. I'm not sure how they're going to handle that in 2024. I'm not sure if they're going to make white standard finally, or if they're just going to make them all white. I have no idea, but at least for now, you can still get um, the mini light with the tan exterior. Outside shower, hot and cold. 300 pound rated receiver hitch for bike carrier or storage rack, spare tire mounted there. And you can move that if it's getting in the way, you can move that anywhere on the bumper. Ladder standard, 250 pound rating. You can get up on that roof. It's a solid roof, walkable roof. Important to clean it, check the seals. Just look for cracks over time in the, in the caulking. You wanna make sure you stay on top of that to prevent any chance of leaks. There's a backup camera uh, ready mount, very easy to install. Takes our guys about five, five minutes to install a backup camera, it's real quick. It's a um, only about a 20, 19 foot, 20 foot box. And that awning goes most of the way there. So even though it's a small camper, you get a nice awning, comes out eight feet. You get the adjustable Moride steps, very easy to adjust those legs. You just pull, pull them out and they click, 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 lock into place. And then when, if you want to put the legs up, there's just a little, little clip right here. Yeah, see it? You just push that in and then you can slide the leg up. And then when you're ready to put the camper away, you can just lift that staircase up and in and it locks in to the door and then it just closes on the other side of it. You have the option, you can mount the TV right there, gas griddle mount, and there's a small table that would mount next to it. And your main outside storage is a pass-through. So this side is the, the wider side. And then you got a little bit of a narrower side on the other end, but this is a lot of space to store things. And then very convenient, Rockwood gave you the magnets to, to store your handle. This here is for the front power jack. Uh, if the motor weren't to work, you can use that crank to crank it up and down. And then this here is either for the uh, manual stabilizers uh, actually yeah that's what it's for the manual stabilizers but I always say three quarter inch socket on a electric drill a cordless drill that's the way to do it quick and easy this table is the one that would go in front of the sofa you can store it here you can also store it behind the sofa if you'd like I think it might be easier just to, to manage to, to put it right here um, you can also use it outside of course and then all the mini lights, as they have been for a number of years now, come with the enclosed underbelly. The underbelly being enclosed is great for insulation purposes, better insulated camper. Uh, and that makes sense too, because you got tank heaters standard on these. So if you need to, uh, if there's a risk of the tanks freezing at night, say it's like a dip below freezing for any period of time, you turn those on and make sure the tanks don't freeze. So better insulation. Another thing that's not talked about much, but is really critical too, is that when you're towing an, a, a camper, the enclosed underbelly makes for a flat surface. So the air is just gonna flow right over it. If you don't have an enclosed underbelly, air pockets, uh, you know, you get air pockets in there and it causes more um, like back and forth swaying potential. So very, very critical uh, for your whole towing experience. Rounded front also improves the towing experience. And finally, the Torsion Torflex axles, independent suspension system, far superior to leaf springs that you see on a lot of travel trailers this size. So all that comes together to make for a great towing camper and only about 4,500 pounds. You have a half ton truck. This is going to tow like a charm. All right, let's go inside and check it out. This is a time-tested layout. Rockwood has been making the 2109 for many years, at least eight, probably more than that, going back to, gee, I, I know for sure, like 2015, 2014. Been many years Rockwood's been building this model. Uh, awesome, awesome floor plan for a couple. Even though it's only about, you know, maybe a 19, 20 foot box, you have a lot of room to move around in here. This, this isn't a huge slide room, but it gives you that little extra space to, to move around in the camper. Very open. Bathroom in the rear corner. The corner shower. Porcelain toilet. It's actually the griddle in that, that box right there. 
we'll go over the storage shortly. And that sofa does uh, go flat, jackknife sofa, so you can turn it into a, another sleeping surface. That bed, you can walk around. Easy access on that bed. Uh, it's not a full queen, it's not a 60 by 80 queen. I believe it's a 74 by 54. If not, I'll put a correction on the video, but I believe that's what it is. I like that there's windows on either side of the bed. You can open both sides up, get a little bit of a cross breeze. In the front, there is the window for light, but you also have a shade you can pull down at night. Sitting on the sofa, get a nice view of the television and the television does swivel out so you can get a better angle at the TV. Another thing that customers have uh, told me they really like about this model is that the door, the entry door is in the back. So it's not right at the bed. It's actually right in the back of the camper, which is also closer to the bathroom for easy access. This interior is the lightest interior you can get because it's the lightest furniture color in the stone and the lighter wood color with the Newport ash. Now I imagine that when the 2024s come out, they're still going to have a lighter, darker option, just like they have for a number of years now, but they're probably going to change the names and they're probably going to change the tone of the colors a bit. But at least for this particular model and other 2023s you see on the market, when you see um, Newport ash and stone, this is the kind of light interior you can expect. Along with that is that floor, uh, the pattern on the floor that goes, corresponds with the wood color. So it's slightly different if you get the autumn wood. Rockwood built in a lot of storage to this model. On either side of the bed, you can hang clothes. You can see the pole up there, hang clothes. Above the bed, there's storage in those cabinets. There's also a small drawer next to the bed there three small drawers under the bed, and then there's additional storage right here. It's also a good time to point out that Rockwood uses a, a aluminum in their structural support. So if, you're, if there's anything in here that holds weight, they're not building it with a wood frame, they're building it with an aluminum frame. Rockwood has done this for a long, long time. Really big drawers underneath the sink. I like this, they're very deep. One under the oven. A couple of medium sized drawers to the left of the sink. And nice deep cabinet above the sink. Right at the entry door, this can either be a pantry or you can use it for more clothes. So you can just remove these shelves for even more storage space. And for shoes, you can just tuck them in underneath there. I want to also point out that there is a small countertop extension on the side of the on the side of the counter near the sink. It's a little it's a little extension, but it's something. It's usable. Above the sofa, this storage actually goes right across three cabinet fronts but one area and then as we saw earlier that's the access to the space behind the sofa and while I'm here I'll point out they do have a couple actually four cup holders <laughs> you have two there uh, one on each side of this the sofa medicine cabinet of the sink and the bathroom really small space but a little bit of space under the sink for storage. You get a view of the shower. And this comes with the shower miser, so you can conserve fresh water. If you're, especially if you're dry camping, you need to make the most of your fresh water. Turn the valve, um, open the valve there to the right of the blue thing. And then it circulates, circulates, circulates. Water gets hot enough and that blue plastic will turn like a clear and then afterward, you just turn the valve back and you can use the water without yeah. wasting anything. Max Air fan, standard with the cover. And then even more storage in the bathroom. It's actually a decent storage area. 
behind the toilet. Another great quality of this floor plan is the slide room when it's in all the way. It does not obstruct the bathroom, doesn't obstruct access to the refrigerator. You can get to the bed, you can get everywhere. So this is a very uh, travel friendly slide layout. And actually I mentioned the fridge. So the standard is the 11 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. These 12 volt fridges do get cold a lot faster than the gas electric ones, probably in about an hour and a half instead of five hours, six hours. Runs off of battery. If you're plugged in, if you're traveling down the road, um, you're tr plugged into your vehicle, that'll be trickle charging your battery anyway to keep up. It's nice to be able to run it down the road, keep stuff in here, keep the fridge locked, of course. And um, if you really do want the gas electric fridge, at least for now, I'm not, I can't say with 100% certainty in the 2024s, but for now you can get them, uh, you can get the gas electric fridge still as an option. Those uh, gas electric fridges do cost more money and it just costs the factory more anyway. There's more time in the construction. They get to cut uh, vents in the side. They get to cut a vent in the roof uh, for ventilation. So a couple things to consider with that. And in the future, if you ever had to replace that refrigerator, it's a lot cheaper to replace a 12 volt fridge than it is a gas electric fridge. So yeah, this is a 2109S. Rockwood Mini Light, one of two currently at Russo's RV Center. Happy Father's Day. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.